Hello, so I wanted to talk about ATC cards today. And this is specifically for people who might be supply challenged right now, or maybe you're new to making these kinds of things and you're just not really sure what to do. Some people tell the lie to themselves, oh, I'm not creative, I don't know how to do this, I can't draw a straight line. These are lies that you've told yourself. So I'm gonna show you, you can create some really fun cards with minimal supplies, minimal effort, and you can get something that comes out looking interesting. So I have done a video about how to make this kind of paper, so if you'd like to watch the background video, you can go back and do this. And I ripped this out of a magazine, the Create, and then I ripped out this lime and glued it on because one of the fun things about doing ATCs and journaling is all the layers and depths you can create with them. So I'm just sticking it down like that. And this was a, I don't even know what this was, but something about I Love New York. It's got a shell, a boat, and a, a postcard. So, and it says great ideas. I love great ideas. So that's what I did. And I ripped it out with my hands. So even if you don't have scissors, <clears throat> you can still do that. And typically when I glue something on, I outline it in Sharpie. That way it looks not like just sort of stuck to the page, but it gives it a, a border and this grounding to it. So I'm going to outline the teal and then I'm going to outline the rips. And once you start outlining that, you get, you get these interesting shapes and movements with the words. <clears throat> And I'm going to just stick a very crooked border on there. Okay, and I'm going to add polka dots because I really like polka dots. They make me happy. So I do things that make me happy. So you can see with very minimal effort I have a simple card and maybe it will inspire somebody to create. And then what I do is I take my glue, this is just glue that I have, and I do a big dollop of glue. And you can use Mod Podge. I live um, in North Carolina and we have so much humidity here that Mod Podge tends to not dry. <laughs> I can pick up things <laughs> three days later and it's still sticky. And then what happens is the background starts to move and blend with the glue. So I love that. And I'm going to let it dry. And now if I put it on something that's sturdier, like maybe a piece of <clears throat> cardboard from my kitchen or a file that I don't need a file folder, and I'm going to do the same thing here where I go around and I outline. And this picture sort of uh, overlapped, so I'm going to cut this piece off of that bear. And there's my great ideas. And I am always really careful about the words I surround myself with, so I enjoy things. See, now I miss the edge. Am I crying? No, I just go and make it darker. And all that does is add interest to your page. And by making it darker, you're also highlighting certain parts of the ATC. That side's going to get cut off too. Okay, and now this one, I'm not even going to put a border on because it has, it's got a lot of things happening, so I don't really think it needs a border. But I am going to throw some polka dots down on the background. Okay, let me see if I can find my scissors. Alright, so I'm just going to turn it over, follow that line. So for people who are new to crafting and creating, or maybe people who have disabilities, physical or mental, this is a fun thing that you can do. You get, 
you know, a finished product, minimal effort, minimal cost. And, you know, it's art is such a great way to, to manage things. I know a lot of people who use art as a form of meditation or therapy, so this way you can do it and it doesn't cost you anything. And if it's terrible, you just throw it out and start over. So no problem. All right, so there we go. So there are two cards easy to make. All right. Have fun. Happy creating. Bye.